Hi guys, so this is Sarah, and my mom used to watch me make this dress. The dress looks so beautiful, so so I'm going to do pose. So first, I'm going to tell you everything about about it. Cause do you know why I went to why they made this dress? Cause, cause, cause it's going to be my brother Crystal Lee, and it's my mommy who made this dress. I'm going to show all of you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the love. It's been a long time that I've posted and I've been doing well. I've just been busy making some clothes for my family, for my baby's christening. Do well, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. I'll be showing you how I made this dress. My five-year-old daughter is rocking. If you would like to see how I achieved the bow, please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be glad to make a video of it. Thank you. So guys, I'm making this dress for a five-year-old and the measurements i'm working with is for the half length i'm working with 10 inches the shoulder to the knee i'll be working with 26 inches and the bust measurement is 24 the waist is 23 the shoulder is 10 the armhole is six and a half the neck width is 2.8 the neck depth is three so i already drafted my pattern i have a video of how to draft basic bodies pattern for kids that's the first video on my channel you can check it out or maybe i'll be putting it on the description box that was how i drafted this pattern and so now this is the front bodies and the back bodies so because i'm adding a um, yoke to it next to the upper part all i did was i just came down by on this point of the shoulder I came down by four and a half inch and then I just slanted it you don't want it too deep so that was all I did just did the slant this is for the front and I will cut this out when I cut this, you can see that the measurement of the bodies is 10 inches, but I added one inch seam allowance, one inch seam allowance, and then half inch seam allowance for the shoulder. So now when I cut this one out, I'm going to add half inch to this place. That's when I'm placing it on my fabric. I'll make sure that I add half inch to this and half inch to this part. It is that half inch you will use to join it back together so that you will get the exact length that you have already drafted out and then for the back body I did exactly the same thing I just slanted it too here's a slant I did a slant and then I want it to be like a V at the back and then I just connected it to the neck and this is it so this part should be like the net the tool and this will be fabric so all this part is not useful I'm just going to go ahead now and then cut it out and then the same thing when you place it on your fabric you add half inch to this part and half inch to this part so this is how I'm going to cut it out You can see so this is it so when I want to cut this one on my fabric I will make sure to add half an inch and then this one the same thing I'm going to add half an inch that is the seaming allowance and I will do the same thing for this one I'll make sure I add half an inch to it so I'm just going to cut it out So I'm going to use this one to cut out the lining and the 
um, fabric. So now this is the front body. I want to cut it out. So I'll add half an inch. This is all you need to do. Just add half an inch to it so that you can use to seam it and then you cut it out. So like this is my new pattern. I'll be using this one to cut out the lace. So to cut the back, um, I just folded the zipper allowance inside and then I'm going to mark the half inch. And then after then, this I'm going to cut it like so. So I've opened back the zipper allowance and I'll cut it. So now this is what it's like. So by the time I attach the two parts, that's the net part to it, it's going to be straight. You know, the half inch, this way to stop, it's going to be straight like so, before I'll fix the zip. So this is how you're going to cut it for the back. So I'm going to use this one now to cut out the lace and the lining. So I'm done cutting the down part of uh, the bodies so we're going to cut the upper part which is the tool this is my tool already folded it into two and then into two again so this is for the front bodies i'm just going to place this pattern on top so i like to double my tool because you know two can easily tear so now I'm going to add my half inch. Add your half inch and then you can cut it out. So this one I will be attaching to the lace. So I'll cut out another one that I will be attaching to the lining. Because whatever you cut for the main fabric, you are also going to cut it for the lining. So I'm just going to place it on top. Or if I can't use this one that I've already cut out. We are attaching this one to the main fabric and this to the lining. This for the front. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to cut the back, which is this one. So I can just cut it together, both the main fabric and the lining. So this is for the main fabric and the lining. That's what I have here. So now I'm done cutting the upper part. Just going to set it aside. So now to cut the down part, I'll be using 720 degrees peplum. 720 degrees peplum is actually 260, 360 degrees in total places. Because if you add 360 plus 360 to give you 720. And you know how you normally fold your fabric for um, 360 is you fold it into two like so and then fold it again like so that, that that's for your 360 you fold it into four places but i have actually folded mine into eight places because i'm cutting it together now i have my fabric folded into two like so it's folded into two and i folded it again into two again so this this one now is like the first peplum like the first 360 and this one will be like the second 360 because if I fold it into two, I have my 360 square. So I folded it into two because my fabric is by 60. So I folded it into two like so. And then fold it again into another two. And then 
I'll just fold it once like so. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you can actually cut 360 and cut another 360, then you join them together to give it the same thing. But I just want to cut mine once. So the formula for getting your 720 is the waist measurement. And the waist measurement I'm okay with is 23 inches. I'm going to divide 23 inches by 2. It will give me 11.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance. The seam allowance is the half one inch I will use to join the two peplum together. That is half inch on one side, half inch on the other side. We give me one inch. And then the other one inch is for my zipper. So your waist measurement divided by two. Waist measurement for this child I'm working, working with is 23 inches divided by two. I have 11.5. Plus two inches seam allowance. I will now have 13.5. So that 13.5, I'm going to divide it by 6.28, which is the um, formula for calculating your radius. If you divide 13.5 by 6.28, you have 2.14, which I'm going to approximate to be 2.1. If I was not cutting it 720, if it was 360, I would just divide that 23 inches, which is the waist measurement, by 6.28, and it will give me what I will mark out. So now, what I'm, what I have is 2.14, which is approximately 2.1. That's for the waist and the circumference of the 720. So there's still another formula, but I feel like this formula is straightforward. This one is straight. If you use the other formula, it will still give you the same 2.2, 2.1 inch. That one is your waist measurement, which is 23 inches, plus 3 inches seam allowance, which will give you 26 inches. And divide that 26 by 2, it will give you 2.07. If you divide 26 by 2, it will give you 13. And then you divide 13 by 6.28, which will give you... 2.07 if you approximate 2.07 it will give you 2.1 so but i prefer this other formula first of all you divide the waist measurement by 2 which is 23 divided by 2 is very straight plus 2 inches seam allowance we give you 13.5 now divide that 13.5 by 6.28 it will give you 2.1 so i'm going to mark 2.1 here make sure that before you put your fabric on fold you have measured the full length of the fabric so that you'll be able to get what you actually need the length of the paper i'm cutting will be 10 inches so now if you add that um 2.1 plus 10 inches to give me 12.1 so i can choose to mark 12.1 here first I'm just going to mark it around and then connect it. So I'll start doing this, I'm going to measure my 2.1 here. And then connect it. Now you're going to cut it out. So now all you need to do is Open it on one side. If you want the joining to be at the front, you will leave it like so. Meaning, once you join here together, if you join these two together, it will be at the front, and then these two will be for your zipper. But if you don't like it like that, meaning you have to open up one like so. You open this one up so your front won't have any joining so now this is how to cut it you can see we have two peplum look at it one and two two peplum so now we're going to use this one to cut the the lace fabric so now we have our peplum this is the lace and this is the lining So after cutting the peplum, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lining now. The lining for the skirt part. Remember the length for the down part is 16 inches. 
So I'm going to cut the lining to be 15 inches. By the time I finish rolling the bottom, it will be like 14 inches. Because I don't want it to poke out of the dress at all. So this is the length and the width of this line is 60 inches. So for the lining, I'm just going to gather it up. So for this um, peplum, this flare that I've caught, I will be using crino line on it to give it a twist effect. I'm going to do a separate video on how to attach your crino line. So. Now I'm going to cut out my tool, this is the tool I'm using, I'm going to, this tool is not up to 16 inches, so now I'm going to add this shorter one to it, I will join them together so that the length will get to 16 inches, and then the part where the joining is going to show, I'm just going to put it at the top side, so this um, peplum will be covering it, nobody will see it, so nobody will see it. So by the time I join it together, I'll be able to have my 16 inches length. Yeah, so I have 16 inches if I join it together. I'm going to place it on top and just press it. So I'm going to measure 5 yards into 2 places for this one, the same thing for this one, 5 yards into 2 places, gather the 5 yards up and step it on top of each other before this one will be on top of it, so I'll cut out 5 yards for this, 5 yards for this and join them together because this one, the length is not as long as 16 inches which I need, so what I'm cutting down from this is actually 10 yards and 10 yards and then I will join it together to give me the length of 16 inches and then I will gather them 5-5 five, five years separately so guys, I've attached the two to the bodies all I did was um, sew the Dutchess satin I just sewed it with the lace and then I attached this, you can see after attaching it, I, I pressed it down I did the same thing for the back and then I have done the lining too. You can see, done the lining too. So now I'm going to join the main fabric on the shoulder, just like I normally do. I'm going to join it on the shoulder with a half inch, and then I will join it on the shoulder to for the lining i will do the same thing for the lining on the shoulder after doing that i will turn it around the neck and i'm going to stop here this point where that zipper is going to start where the two ended so i'm going to turn it around the neck and then around the armhole too so let me go and join the shoulder for this one join the shoulder for the main bodies and then turn it around so your right side will be facing the right side that's the right side of the lining this is the right side of the lining it will be facing the right side of the fabric like so and now i'm just going to sew it round with half an inch i will do the same thing for the armhole to half an inch so guys, I'm done sewing around the neckline and the armhole, so I'm just going to go ahead now and turn it out. So after turning it out, this is what it's going to look like. So the next thing is... I'm going to give it a press, I'm going to press it and then I'm going to take this front bodice and the back, that's the main fabric and I'm going to stitch my allowance, I'm going to stitch one inch down to the end of the lining and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. 
So I'm done doing the peplum, adding final line to the peplum, and this is it. This is what I have as the peplum. And I'm done doing the two different layer of two. You can see this is one. This is one set, and this is another set. So I just joined the, both of them together. Now I'm going to join the purple on to it. It's gonna be on top. You see why I said I can actually join my two here and nobody will see this line because the purple one is going to be covering it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew my purple on top of the two from one end to the other end remember my waistline now is 25 inches because the waist is 23 plus one inch for zipper here and one inch for zipper here make it 25 inch so i'm gonna sew this on top you see and then after sewing it on top i'm gonna attach it to this main bodies this is the board, this, this is the front. I'm going to open it like so. That's remove the lining from it. And I'm going to attach it. Start sewing from this end down to the other end. Like so. So let me go ahead and join this peplum to the two. And then attach just the main body. So I'll separate it from the lining to the skirt parts. So guys, I'm done attaching the cranial line, the peplum to the two and I attach the upper bodies like you can see. So I'm going to go ahead now and attach the lining. This is the lining, you can see it's separate. I'm going to take the lining because I've already done gather stitch on the lining and I'm going to attach it from this end of the super line to the end, other end of the super line. Once you finish doing that, see it will cover the dress like so. And then I'm just going to close the back. I said the zip and close the back and I'm basically done with this dress. So this is what the dress looks like at the end of the day. I didn't make a video of the bow. If you like to see how I achieve the bow, leave me a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. And please help me like this video. Bye-bye.